What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. Today's video is going to be a full guide on how to do the number 2 boss in the Iron Horse raid, Captain Pfizer, if that is how you pronounce him. I don't know if I'm pronouncing him correctly, but I'm going to showcase uh, exactly how to do it within 10 minutes. Make it easy, kind of like a cheese way of doing it. You don't actually follow the correct mechanics, you just do it an easier way. So make sure you guys watch the whole video. I will actually uh, upload the full VOD from my Twitch channel. It, you will see how we did it in nine minutes. Uh, that'll be at the end of this guide. So I'm going to explain all the mechanics first. Then we're going to go up to the control room and I'm going to tell you exactly what you're going to do. So when you guys start here, you're going to start and arrive right here by sector B. So there are three sectors, A, B, and C. So I'm going to try and kind of like summarize this as best as I can. I'm sure a lot of you who are attempting this know the mechanics. If not, we're going to go over them. So inside the middle there, when I'm in the uh, control room, we can see it. There is an area that gets extremely hot. OK, so Captain Pfizer will spawn. I'll show you when we're in the control room, how you're going to spawn him, because that's how you initiate everything. So what happens is there's a tank there and there's a boss. Forget about the boss. Forget about the boss. You only have to kill the boss after everything else is done. So let's get that clear. So what's going to happen is we're going to split two players on each sector. So two pa players on B, two players on A, two players on C, and then two players in the control room. That makes up your eight players. So it's important you have eight players because you need to help each other. So uh, let's go over the mechanics on the outside area first, because inside not a lot's going to be happening. Once we get to the control room, I will explain exactly what happens from there, inside there. So let's go over some of the mechanics. So these, we're going to call these Wi-Fi boxes, okay? So there are a, quite a few Wi-Fi boxes all around. These have images that refer to codes. So inside here, yeah, when you guys go in there, there's obviously the sand pits where the boss and the tank is. Just behind where sector, sector B is, that's the only thing you need to worry about until the tank is destroyed. Someone needs to go in there and read the error codes. So there will be a big bar. If you watch the VOD, you'll see there's error codes right there. There'll be like a screen that says error code. Now, when you say the error code, we'll explain the, this whole process later on. So when you explain the error code, it goes up to the control room. And then the control room person reads the code and references it and gives you a symbol like a cup on a hook, for example. This is where the symbols will pop up on these Wi-Fi boxes. And you have to stand near them to actually get it to actuate. So just remember this mechanic. Now, these Wi-Fi boxes are connected to uh, breakers. So like, for example, over here. So let me give a quick little... Um, showcase right here so let's say that you have two players on section a for example so one person is going to stand over here uh, with his wi-fi box okay as you can see there is a breaker over there that is your teammate's breaker let's say i'm over here so this will happen on the other two on the other two sectors but let's give an example what's going to happen here so i'm going to stand here my teammate's going to stand there we are going to watch our wi-fi boxes there's another one here and then if i get the logo that the control room person actually brings up, then I need to tell my teammate because he needs to shoot his box because this Wi-Fi box goes to his side. So, and if he gets it, then I have to shoot my electrical box, which is over here. So that's pretty simple. And I'm sure you understand that. Now with regards to water. So now you need water pressure to shoot the tank. So the water pressure uh, valves are over here. Sometimes they say 25 and things like that. It's up to you guys to watch these and get familiar with them, but forget about water. I'll explain that in a second. But what happens here is if it says 15 and you actuate this, it sends 15 up to the control room. So you, you don't want to send too much. So you need to communicate with the person in the control room with the person down here. So everyone's going to be doing the similar things, clearing ads. Now, remember, if you need rocket launchers to shoot the tank, you only have to shoot the tank once and then you can DPS the rest. But it is easier to, to shoot two tanks. So that's why we're going to have uh, the, the people who are going to be entering inside. There's only, only we only need one person going in and out of there. And I'm going to explain why in the control room. So the rocket launchers spawn on A side and C side. NPCs will come out of the store from A side, which is here, and then from C side. When you kill that NPC, you pick up the rocket launcher. Uh, you put it over here. Now the one person going in and out, he should be carrying it and shooting the tank. It's that simple. So we're going to go over and explain the complete uh, process over here. So this is how we're going to cheese this guy. So the, the person in the control room needs to have a hazard protection build. Okay. 
with DPS. And the other person needs to have a healer build, which is my future healer build, which is on my YouTube channel. Link will be in the description. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to stand here and heal my teammate while he's burning. And he's going to be doing the doors. He's going to be doing the final water pressure and moving the actual foundry over here by this console. So remember that we need those two players to run builds. Now everyone else uh, around the area needs to run like quite, quite not, not tank builds, but you don't have to be full DPS, but maybe some sort of DPS builds because you want to be able to clear the ads as quick as possible and not get burnt down when you move into the foundry. So some sort of semi tank, semi DPS build, which I will be making on my channel very soon. I have got very good hazard, hazard protection builds with damage. So the one person who's going to be running in and out of there needs to have a very tanky foundry bulwark build or whatever kind of tank build he, he prefers. It doesn't really matter. Someone will have Tardigrade, someone will have Vanguard. Uh, so yeah, so healer and DPS has a protection build inside here. So quickly, let's have a look over here. So if you look right here, there's a electrical box right here. Okay, and on the other side, right right over here. So the NPCs, this is what, this is what happens if you do it the normal process. I'm not gonna explain too much because I don't wanna confuse you guys, but the NPCs will spawn and try and shoot this and there will be big tanks running in here and power will be lost. So the whole control room gets destroyed. That ruins the whole area. So you would have to push these together and it would draw players away from their posts to come right over here while someone else is in there. And that's what mo most of the time, that's what causes the con the confusion. We are gonna eliminate that completely. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna be here and the DPS hazard protection person is gonna be actuating the doors i can do it as well okay and this water pressure will explain in a second i'm going to be just spamming my heels now it's very important to throw your hive your healer hive okay and then as soon as the charges are depleted very carefully use your chems until that like skill duration is very important because you want your chems to last as long as possible on the floor so when you throw your hive they kind of uh the skill haste allows the one to reset while using the other one because you need to be on rotation of the skills when you watch the gameplay at the end you will you will be able to see how i do it so what you're going to do is is if you go into this room the way to actuate the boss is this is how we're going to do it so this is the um the place where all of the pictures and the codes are going to be shown so as soon as someone goes inside the foundry, okay, they're going to start being put kind of on fire. It's going to slowly go up when the boss comes in. To spawn the boss, what happens is, is the person needs to read the error code. So let's say, for example, it says hashtag 45. So you'll come over here and you'll say something like space, space, hashtag 45, which is this one right here. And then it will reference to a picture. So it'll match a picture on here. And that's how you transfer the error code into here you look at the pictures and it'll say for example let's say hashtag 45 is a cup a crucible i would say call it a cup a cup on a hook that's that's uh, empty because black means empty just remember that white is full black I, I see it as black as a shadow because it's empty so remember that so the person will sh shout hashtag 45 and i will look at here and i will say okay it's it's, it's the cup that's empty on a hook and then as soon as i shout cup empty hook uh my everyone else by the wi-fi boxes will look at their wi-fi boxes that we discussed and if someone sees it they'll shout to their teammate across the room on section c for example and they will shoot that electrical box that i showed you earlier if that electrical box goes down the boss will spawn now what normally happens is is you want two players inside there but not this time this is how we're going to cheese it so if one person goes in there and they aggro the boss as soon as the boss is out of aggro the boss will come here and he will destroy this glass okay we want that to happen that's a good thing because then the fire goes in here and then all of these doors close so it keeps us in here we are able to just concentrate on what we're doing the power d never goes out and if it does i mean your players can sort it out pretty quick but the ads can't get in here we don't have to worry about anything other than just actuating the doors and the pressure and moving the crucible so what I'm going to be doing is healing my teammate. He's going to be opening the door for the one person who's a tank, running in, reading the codes, goes back out. Maybe he goes and finds the rocket launchers and gets them ready. And then as soon as uh, this tank, you'll see like a little yellow icon, a bar will pop up. All you've got to do is shoot the bazooka at the, at the area and the, the health will go down. Now two shots of the bazooka will disable it. 
So just remember that. Now the boss will be aggro. He'll be shooting on. So the guy, the person who is healing, needs to be doing a very good job. Uh, don't forget about that part. But because that you know we're not going to be able to leave, we're just going to stay here healing each other. Now it can get quite hot, so you need to make sure you guys are at your wit your wits about you with the doors because it does get very hot. The boss is the boss's aggro gets higher and he does more damage with the fire. So what happens is guys is when you go through the phases, if you keep doing the crucible. Uh, you come over here and you actually move it. It comes out of that lift and it starts moving towards the tank. So you will have to shoot it. So there's a weak point over there. Do you see those little icons? Those little red bars are weak points. Now we can DPS them from here. The other guys don't have to wait. No one else has to even move. We DPS the weak points. Then we keep pushing this button. The crucible moves towards the tank. Now the tank wants to shoot you. That's why the yellow bar comes up. Just DPS that or shoot the rockets. The one person needs to be uh, concentrating to do that down below. He can have another person helping if he wants to rotate. Rotation is good as well. So one person goes to the door, the other person moves out because each of the doors are actuated by over here, A, B, and C. You hold it down, it opens the one, closes the other, and it works like that. So the person will be running in and out. Uh, and then when you keep procking this, what happens is, is the crucible moves all over to the tank and then it, you push it one more time and it drops all the lava onto the tank and then once it burns the tank down that's when okay so just as it's about to pour the lava on the person here needs to tell his team okay guys i'm going to drop the crucible onto the tank when they do that the other teammates who are at the wi-fi stations are going to monitor their uh, pressure the water pressures and the person in the control point is going to be standing here and I'm going to be healing the person and he's going to read this. So we need it to be 85. Do not worry about the green, the screen bar here. Forget about that. You need it to be 85. Okay. No more than 85. So what's going to happen is the people are going to read their bars. So let's say we're at 60. You're going to be like, okay, I need 25. So you get 75 plus another 10. And then they're going to have to send you tens in increments and don't go over it. So I'm sure you understand it sends the water up to you. And then finally, we release the pressure and this sends the water down to those two guns right over there. Gun right there and gun right there. The player is going to jump on there. He is going to shoot the tank with water. The tank will destroy. The water will actually uh, ignite with the lava and completely just blow the tank up. And then it's easy to do from there. Once that tank is destroyed... What you're going to do is the boss is going to change his phase. He's going to go into like a final killable phase. And then all your teammates just need to come out and just DPS him. That's as, as simple as that. Now, it, it, it sounds a bit complicated because I've been explaining it for quite a while. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to do it in, as in, much, in much detail because I don't want people to get confused in certain stages. So it really is that simple. Uh, once you get stuck in here, it becomes easy for you and the other teammates because it avoids the electricity getting turned off and it just makes it a hell of a lot easier. So I would recommend doing it this way. So that's pretty much how to do it. It's quite simple. Let's just go over it one more time just so we have an understanding. So what's going to happen is a person's going to read. So where I'm standing, there are error codes just below me. I don't know if you can try and see them. If there was a mirror there, we could see it. Right below me, there's error code screen. Someone's going to run in, read the error codes. I'm going to say uh, two cups on hook moving. Okay, then my Wi-Fi guys are going to read their box, shoot the, the electrical one as well, and then it will move on to the next phase. Ads will spawn. I think the ads spawn a certain amount of time. Uh, and then you're just going to keep repeating that, reading the codes, moving the crucible, destroying the tank, shooting it with water, and then out DPS in the boss. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much how to do this. It can become very good, uh, very easy once you and your team understand the mechanics and exactly how to do it. So make sure to stick around to watch the the gameplay footage of how we did it for the first time we'll obviously get better at it i think we could do it in a bit of a quicker time but obviously there's only there's so far there's only you cannot do it as fast as you want because obviously you have to go through the stages so i hope you guys did enjoy this guide if you have any questions leave a comment i will try my best to answer them hopefully you understand what i meant and how it works just make sure to watch the full clip you will see from my perspective of the control room just watch and see what everyone's saying what because i will have audio so yeah with that being said please make sure to leave a like subscribe for more division 2 guides and all the builds vendor resets all that good stuff and i'll be seeing everybody in the next video peace out agents yeah. let's go this is like letting the dogs out I recommend you. Or having speed a zero. That's too empty on conveyor belt. That's me, Tom. Pop it. Pop it. Me out.
It should be fine with the rocket launchers. Are you with B again? Yeah. Should probably just have let you inside to take the next code. Kaiden, can you go in again real quick? Because yeah, yeah, he's yeah. gonna take a while. Okay, yeah. go on, check. It's faster. Hey. Alright, give me the next code. P space pound space space five and let go. I'm inside. P space pound space space five. Oh, yep. P space that's full bottle on hook. Nope. Standing still. Alright. Are you got it? Okay. Are oh, we got it? I'm ready yep. to be whatever. There we go. We're locked in now. Now the fun begins. Multiple hostiles. Tom. Open B whenever. Open B, yeah? Yep. Yep. I'll get the code. Code is just up now. Code is pound 45. That's two empty bottles on hook. Two empty bottles, two hooks. That's me, Puppet Tom. Yeah. Sweet. Remember, missile launch. Can I explode? Open C if you yeah, can. Yeah, um, Jay, we've only been on the second boss for 40 minutes, Thank bud. You very much. We haven't been on it much. We didn't play the whole of yesterday. We've been on the second boss about four and a half again, hours, man. almost yeah. five hours. That's I mean, all. Some people took 30. We're gonna do it now as well. We, we, we're almost there. Right, it's only because we didn't play yesterday. We haven't, we haven't played that same much. Code. Pound 45. That's full bottle on hook. I'll let you out on A. Yep. Or B. Oh. Just go to A. Rocket launcher. Nope. Open A and C. Have we got that one? Opening A. That's in A. Yeah, I got it. Because this. Okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I got it. All right. Because you can get the. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go down a bit. Down quickly, the, yeah. It's not up yet. The code. Don't let him get the turret down. I'm ready on okay. eight. Code is up now. Uh, C space pound four. C space pound four. That's empty bottle on hook. Yep, that's me. I'll let you out on C. You got it, Tom. Yes, Tom. Yes, the rocket yeah, launch is ready on C and A, guys. Yes, he's ready. Yep. Okay, I'm starting to work on weak points now. Good one, chat. Hey. A and C, you're ready. C. Okay, okay. Oh, do, we, do we need it anymore? I don't know. Not, not yet, but. No. We get That's two on down. C, not one, sorry. I am pouring it out now. Okay, I'm ready. Get ready. We need Grimmy and Kaijun ready inside the uh, chambers, and yep. the rest work ready? on water pressure. Okay, I'm in C. Okay, give me two 25s in the beginning. I've got one. Five this side, coming on. Okay, oh. give me 15. 15, I got on. 15 more. I got the other. I got rock launcher, you see. coming on. Okay, go in, fire the rocket launchers. Yep. First, before we do water. Okay, opening A. Okay, stay inside there. Give me a 15. Uh, he's, he's gonna blow, he's gonna blow. 15 Please. on. Please. Shoot his backpack. Open, open A, open A, open A. Open A. Guys, someone, someone help with, um... She's open. I got oh, a backpack. Nice. No, yeah, nice. It's fine, I got the backpack. Okay, just need 15. water now. One in 15. Okay, hit. Anyone else got 15? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to it right now. One, only one. Yep, 15. Okay, I need one 15 now. One 15 now. I got it. Okay, water pressure should come now. 
Yeah. I'm shooting the thing. I don't know if one is enough, but I hope so. But I'm, it is. I'm probably gonna die. Okay, I'm opening C. Opening C. We, if you can make we it. We can go in now. Yeah. Oh, yeah just go out. I, you just go out, you two, and then the rest can come yeah. in. It's fine. We got nothing to stress about now. Stay in my heels. Just to make sure you're healthy. I'm dying. Alright. I'm trying to manage them. Okay. Try to get to the. Okay, I'm opening C. So you let you guys in. Just focus boss now. No, everybody on B, goddammit. Everybody yeah, on B, okay. Yeah. Going to B. Oh, I'm opening C again, Ice. Just go out. Going, to, go be, going to B. Ice, just go out. Yeah, yeah, C, yeah, C's on. open, Ice. Yeah, 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 Ice. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Okay, low, open it. Waiting a bit. I'm in B. And we need all in B. Yeah, all of That's what I said. Like, all to be. Yeah, no. Everyone. We need eyes oh, and people go first. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Got a lot of ads. Got four people in. The other yeah. stay outside and protect the area. From my turret, I'm just giving some help. I'm opening now. I'm opening B now. Oh, great. He's gonna blow, uh, run up and shoot that guy, guys. Backpack, yeah. Shoot his backpack, please. Or we're going Backpack, go. guys. Nice backpack. Good. Lower of his Sorry. backpack, the bottom part. Yeah, we got a shooting. Probably get out, get some cooling down. Yeah, guys, gather at um, B again. Go out. Turn to B. And we can just kill him, right? He's almost dead. Yeah, you're tanky enough. Yeah, I guess. Okay, then, then oh, burn him. So burn him. Again. Decide. What is tight now? Yep, yeah, just burn, 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 burn. He's basically dead. He's going down. He's going down. He's going down. He's going down. Yeah, yeah. he's dead. Yeah, kill Ed. Kill Ed. Ah. Okay, I'm leaving. Yeah, let I, I need, I need down. Um, Guys, go to B. Go to, go to what? Go to, uh, it, it's B. all open. It's all open. It's all open. Just run out. Running out. Running out. Okay, we're actually like, we can go out now too. Yeah. Pat, we don't need to be in there anymore. You, you can't see me hand. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at these ads. God, I'm so happy. I am a healing god. <laughs> you, yeah. Jesus. Adds on seaside. Yep, this is what we need right now, I think. Yeah. So cathartic. Easy. So, yeah, why didn't we do that before? E <laughs>